What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video guys. I'm very excited because today we're working on this Dodge Ram. We are doing a two-step paint correction as well as uh, we are also sanding some areas for this customer, right? Customer recently purchased uh, this vehicle and he's actually just wanting to just make the truck look much better than what it does, right? Um, so that's what we really got going on. Uh, but before we get to really all the main stuff and talking about different things, <laughs> let me show you guys <laughs> this crazy thing that I ended up doing uh, that I probably, <laughs> I probably won't do this again. I really thought this was a good idea. <laughs> this thing says 45 minutes. <laughs> so funny story to this one. If I would have drove to the customer's house, it would have taken me about seven minutes, right? This time, I didn't want to wait for my wife to get home and take me over there. And I didn't feel like Ubering because I was like, it's right there. Right. Long story short, I took it, the initiative of saying, you know what, let me go and dr uh, <laughs> let me walk over there. Overall, it took me 45 minutes to get to this project, to get to this vehicle. Um, and boy, I was tired. So um, I probably <laughs> won't do that one again. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have pretty much gone ahead, washed the vehicle, deconned the vehicle, clayed the vehicle. Um, and the, well, first off, let me show you. I want you guys to hear this paint, how rough it sounded uh, prior to me um, <laughs> doing any, <laughs> anything to it. This thing was rough. All right, as you guys heard, this thing is sandpaper all over. I'm assuming this thing was probably maybe in a wreck um, and the body shop just laid so much overspray on this vehicle. So this was really, really rough. Uh, what I ended up using guys was uh, Clay Magic, the red one. We went aggressive on this one because it was heavy, heavy on here. So we're using the Clay Magic, the red one, the most aggressive clay bar because I wanted to make sure I removed everything really really well um, so that's how we started this project on claying this whole vehicle so before i start the polishing and all of that usually um, when a customer wants sanding right um, that's the first thing i want to do is i want to sand the truck the areas that need attention for that we are using the rupes I have no clue what the brand or the, the HLR75, the Rupes Cordless, guys, um, which this is really the main reason why I bought this Rupes. Um, I bought this one from Drive Auto Appearance, um, and shout out to Cam, he hooked it up. Uh, he also, um, uh, he had the sand here, so I got the sand as well, the sandpapers, because this is my, mach <coughs> my machine that I use for all my headlight restorations and spot sanding such as this, right? This machine has been really, uh, really well. I'm not going to complain. It has done its job. Uh, it's very smooth. I know a lot of you guys uh, have asked me for a product review on this one. And honestly, this is such a good brand that I think you guys have seen a lot of this reviews on, on uh, more channels, right? Which that's sometimes why I don't even do them because it's like you've already heard these reputable detailers um, and YouTube channels talk about it that honestly, I'm like, I don't need to talk about it. But I have really enjoyed it. It comes with uh, two batteries uh, and I have really enjoyed it obviously because you can uh, kind of see how much battery you have. It charges very quickly. Um, and with the two batteries that came in this kit, it is definitely the perfect combination um, for polishing and obviously restoration or even sanding. So um, for this face, we use 2000 grit um, for the initial uh, sanding. Uh, and then I transition over to 3000 grit just to blend everything in. And it gives me just that nice finish, right? Um, but this machine has been really well. The only thing that honestly, for the amount of money you're paying for a Rupes, 
I, this is one thing that I hate right here. You, you you barely tap it and it goes it goes crazy. Or you put it down, or you put it down and it it turns on. I hate that. And somebody told me that you can buy like something, a clip, and it stops it. But it's like, why not just add it from the get go? Like, why make us spend more money on on that? Um, so I hate this trigger. I think in some videos that I've heard that I've used it, obviously you've never heard it, but I have literally cussed this machine out because of that. It literally turns on for whatever reason. Um, you barely touch it, it turns on. Like it's so fragile. But again, I know some people are gonna say they sell a little kit that it, it'll help that from from pushing in. But why not just put it into the to your whole system? Um, but it has been a great machine. I can't complain. That is the only thing I hate is this right here. <coughs> It does really well for polishing, corrections. It does really well all across the board and it is perfectly balanced. This is one of the reasons why I actually love this one. It is so balanced, very, very well um, machine. And if you're local, go to Drive Auto Appearance. He has some or he can put one on order for you. Um, and if you can't, if your money's tight, um, you can definitely put it on a payment plan as well. So there's options, obviously buy it out right if you can if not just put it on a payment plan right um but that is the rupes uh lhr uh for lhr 75 <laughs> for the polisher today guys we are going with the max shine m21 this is their 21 m21 pro this is their 21 millimeter uh polisher and we paired it with the rupes um this is the Rupes wool polishing pad, which is amazing. And yes, uh, this one I wanted when I went to, to uh, Chicago. This was one of the ones that uh, uh, I think Jason signed. And honestly, I didn't have a six inch. I was like, I'm sorry, I gotta use it. So that's what we're using uh, for this paint. You guys know, usually I will go with the um, Rupes foam. But to be honest, guys, this one here is giving me that perfect finish. It's cutting a little bit deeper than I, for what I'm looking for. And it's giving me such a beautiful gloss. And we are pairing it with... Uh, <coughs> Dang it. And we are pairing it with Coach Kemi F601. They're fine cut. I ran out of P601. Um, but, and then we are coming back and putting... Um, DIY ceramic gloss as the topper uh, to give me that protection it's usually up to six months regardless this customer uh, has used me in the past and I'm usually seeing him about every six months anyway so it's gonna work perfectly right uh, so we're doing the polishing we're sanding and we're sealing it off so this is definitely one of those projects that I'm very excited about because I gotta see some results, right? So polisher of choice, the Max Shine M21 paired with the Rupes polishing uh, wool pad. And let's, let's get to it.
thank you guys so much for watching today's video guys and taking your time out of your day to watch a little bit of this process right overall um, this project is finally done guys we ended up doing uh, we use the um, max shine m21 polisher six inch uh, polisher with the rupes um, wool polishing pad um, and then we paired it obviously with coach kemi f601 and then we finished it off with diy ceramic gloss i wish it was a little bit more sunnier so you guys could really see the finished product unfortunately we have overcast right but you'll see a couple clips of it i even have one where i'm putting the light on it uh, so you guys can kind of see the finished product um, one thing i think i didn't really showcase was the beginning on how bad this paint looked to how it looks now i can honestly say there is a huge uh, drastic change on finish right um, but uh, some of the customers concerns was obviously just get this paint looking back to uh, a better standard right so we ended up doing obviously the uh, paint correction we did spot setting in some of these scratches around the truck just to at least try to blend a little bit better it does have some scratches here and there that obviously are a little bit too far gone where i could feel through with the nail but we were able to at least blend them a little bit um, but I think we met all the goals as well as I even did the interior for them. Just a quick wipe down and vacuum. Nothing crazy. Um, so I'm super excited uh, about this one. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. God bless you guys. And if Allie watches this video, my daughter Allie, happy early birthday, baby. Thank you uh, so much for coming into my life. I love you and I wish you so many, many more years to come. Later, guys.